That's metal in your cereal. That's metal in your Are cereal. You wow. Like actual Damn. metal shavings in your cereal. Okay, you got Mitchell here again, and I got a super, super interesting video for you today. We are going to talk about cereal and the fact that there is metal in the food you're feeding to your kids. Alright, the concept behind this is super simple. Water in the bin, filler to the rim. Magnets, I got some super magnets right here, they're little and small. And I got an extra large magnet here, it's not little and small. And all we're going to do is fill her up, drop the cereal in, and show you what takes Okay, so we're just going to roll through these one by one by one. I'm going to speed it up, I'm going to put some music behind it. Shocking stuff. I can use a magnet to move cereal across water, there's metal in it. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Like, come on. I'm not trying to preach that everything out there is poisonous and you can't eat any of it, but, but I am trying to build some awareness here. This is my opinion. All the videos that I do are based on my opinion. So if you want to take it as hard facts, it's going to ruin or change your life, it's not what I'm looking to do. I'm just looking to show you that there's a lot of stuff out there that we as consumers don't know about, period. I have these little dinky magnets here, no big thing. Who, who would have believed for a second that I can pull cereal across water using a magnet? Come on, man. All right, so let's move on. We're gonna put the cereal in the blender, blend it up, magnets inside, we're gonna see what happens. You're gonna be shocked. Okay, so I blended it all up. Now, I mean, you want to get all the clumpy stuff that's in the bottom. I blended it as best I could with what I got. I'm going to pour it into this bag. Get all the chunks in there. And now all I'm going to do is take this little magnet and throw it inside. I'm going to squash this, slosh this all around. And the concept here is if there's metal in your cereal, obviously I would say that the magnet is going to pick that up, right? So let's see. Okay, so I blended it up and I added more. Whoa! 
I added more water to it just to try to make it so it's easier to get the any shavings that might be in there to come out. I found it was a little too thick. Stitch it. There we go. And also when you're using those ninjas, if you add too much water and you press blend, it makes a super unhappy mess on the counter, okay? There's a heads up. Where's the magnet? Right there. Holy Jesus. I don't know if I can get you to see that or not. There's so much metal in that. Can you see that? Do you see all the metal there? Look at that. Craziness. Look at that right there. That's metal in your cereal. That's metal in your cereal. Wow. Like actual metal shavings in your cereal. Yeah, buddy. I need two hands for this. Look at that. You see the metal on the edge of that? That there is 100% metal shavings. 100% metal shavings. Okay, so I, I rinsed off the cereal. I mean, I don't, we're not having much luck with zooming in here, but look at that. That's metal. Right there, that's metal from your cereal. Now let's talk relevance here, okay? These cereals do list iron as an ingredient. As a daily ingredient, it lists the percentage of iron that's in a, a regulated portion. I get all that, okay? And when I think to myself that this has iron and this has fiber, this has protein, I think of those things in passing. Did I ever actually think that when it says iron, that there's actually metal shavings? in the cereal that I'm consuming. So I am actively eating shavings of metal in my cereal. Not for a million years did I think that's what we had going on. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. All I'm trying to say is, I'm just trying to build awareness. When you're purchasing from the major grocery stores, as a consumer, it is your right to be educated on the products that you're purchasing. Under no circumstances would I ever have thought that there is literally metal shavings in the cereal that I purchased for me, for my son, for my wife, whatever, okay? I'm blown away by the fact that there's metal in this. I realize it says on the label that there is iron, okay? But like I said, not for one second would I think that there's actual metal shavings in this. Not for one second would I think that I can draw cereal back and forth across a bowl with a magnet. Ridiculous on so many levels. I'm not trying to tell you that there's nothing out there that you can eat and enjoy anymore. I'm just trying to say that in the last 50 to 60 years, things have changed so dramatically. All of these food products are at our fingertips. Everywhere we go, apples, you name it, bananas from across the world, they're all there. The consumer can basically purchase anything they want at any given time as long as they have the money. Not only that, but the consumer is usually pushed into purchasing the lowest price point item. Two of these for four bucks, three of these for five bucks. And the fact of the matter is, that the local producers that are producing foods that are of high quality cost more money and they're being pushed out the back door because we as consumers, we just race to the bargain deals. I'll take two of those for five bucks all day long. Why would I want to pay five dollars for one box? The reason you might want to pay five dollars for one box is because that five dollar box that you bought locally produced probably doesn't have metal in it. I'm just saying. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. see the metal all over that.